Hello everyone. Welcome all of you in MH Math classes. So uh, in this video, I'll discuss uh, how to convert infinite series into definite integral. Okay. So first of all, we uh, give a formula. Okay. Here, I'll see the, uh, if uh, limit n tends to infinity one by n summation f of r by n where uh, here r equal to phi n and upper limit psi n r equal to phi n to r n uh, psi n equal to integration a to b okay here a is a lower limit and b is a uh, upper limit okay fx dx fx dx okay so here uh, where where lower limit a equal to lower limit a equal to limit n tends to infinity phi n by n and uh, upper limit b equal to limit n tends to infinity psi n by n okay and here we take x equal to r by n that is r by n equal to x Okay, this is the formula. Now, first of all, uh, see, give an example of this type of uh, problem, solving this type of problem. Okay. Question number one limit n tends to infinity one by n plus one plus one by n plus two plus and so on one by n plus n okay this is the infinite uh, this is the series okay now this is the infinite series now how to convert this series into definite integral okay so see here we can write this series is equal to limit n tends to infinity summation 1 by n plus r okay r equal to 1 to n right here r equal to 1 to n see here in the formula In this formula here see uh, r equal to phi n to psi n right so here we write summation r equal to 1 to n okay okay finish now 
this is equal to limit n tends to infinity here uh, we have to write this type okay r by n types okay so if we take uh, n is a common then what it look like 1 by n summation 1 by 1 plus r by n okay and here r equal to 1 to n so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity uh, no uh, not this if now we take x equal to r by n okay now we take here let r by n is equal to x okay and what is a a equal to limit n tends to infinity this lower limit phi n by n so phi n is here r equal to 1 so 1 by n and if n tends to infinity 1 by infinity that means 0 and b equal to limit n tends to infinity psi n by n that means n by n okay n by n that is 1 okay here this now uh, definite integral become, uh, becomes 0 to lower limit 0 upper limit 1 here a equal to 0 b equal to 1 okay and what is x here r by n so the function is f of x dx so where fx equal to 1 by 1 plus x okay here 1 by 1 plus x that is integration 0 to 1 1 by 1 plus x dx okay and what is the integral of this integration of 1 by 1 plus x this is log 1 plus x okay this is log 1 plus x b to uh, from limit 0 to 1 okay and so this is equal to log 2 minus log 1 and log 1 equal to 0 so this is equal to log 2 okay so uh, if we convert we see that we see that uh, we convert this series into definite integral and the uh, integral value is log 2 okay we see another example another example is uh, uh, we take question number 2 limit n tends to infinity 1 by n summation r by square root n square plus r square okay and r equal to 1 to 2n right this is an infinite series now how to convert this series into definite integral okay so see first first here we have uh, taken out this n square is a common if then what it look like the series is uh, limit n tends to infinity 
1 by n summation if n square is common then 1 by n is here and r by root under 1 plus c square by n square okay so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n summation here we can also write this as this 1 plus r by n c square okay and r equal to 1 to qn okay 1 to qn now let r by n equal to x and what is limit here here c uh, r equal to 1 so lower limit lower limit is equal to 0 okay and what is upper limit here upper limit is equal to psi n by psi n by n so here c 2 n by n that means n in n and n cancel out so 2 each upper limit is 2 so what is the in definite integral becomes integration 0 to 2 has r by n so this is x by n okay this is x by root under 1 plus x square dx okay now solve this integral this so we converted this integ uh, this infinite series into definite integral so this is the definite integral and how to solve this definite integral here if we how to solve this definite integral Dekhi. see let 1 plus x square is equal to t then 2x dx is equal to dt and convert the limit lower limit convert the limit okay and when x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 then t equal to 1 here okay if we put this equation in this equation x equal to 0 then t equal to 1 here okay so and when x equal to 2 if we put this in this equation uh, t equal to x equal to 2 then 1 plus 2 square that means 4 1 plus 4 that means 5 so t equal to 5 so lower limit 1 and t upper limit 5 then then integration 1 to 5 and here x dx equal to x dx is equal to dt by 2 okay that means 1 by 2 dt by root 2 no, sorry here sorry 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 not t here t square okay here we take 1 plus x square equal to t square then uh, x 2x dx equal to 2t dt 2 to cancel out so x dx equal to t dt okay so and here this is okay and when x equal to 2 so 1 plus root 2 that means t equal to root 5 here okay t equal to root 5 here okay now and dt equal to root t square that means t okay that is integration 1 to root 5 dt by t and this is equal to log t 1 to root 5 
put the limit so log root 5 minus log on and log on is 0 so this is equal to log no no on minute on minute here something is wrong x dx equal to t dt oh yes x dx equal to t dt so here t and t t cancel out here okay t t cancel out here so only oh sorry and this is equal to t 1 root 5 that means root 5 minus 1 is the answer okay so I hope uh, you all are understand okay any anything you have uh, doubt any any doubt you have then please comment in the below comment section okay so i hope you all understand this video uh, and the, how to convert the series infinite series into convert into definite integral okay so milte hain next video mein chalte hain thank you